How do you multiply a fraction by a whole number using an algorithm? In today's lesson, you will learn how to multiply a fraction by a whole number using a sequence of operations or an algorithm. First, some vocabulary. An algorithm is a specific process, set of rules, or steps to be followed to solve an operation. Let's review. You already know that if I were to multiply whole, uh, a fraction by a whole number, I could use repeated addition. So if I were to have the problem 4 times 1 half, that's going to be the same as 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half. Knowing that, we just add across the numerators, which is 4 and then keep the denominator the same, which is 2. So we have 4 halves as an improper fraction. We would have 2. Then change that. We know that 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. So 4 times 1 halves is the same as adding 1 half 4 times and then dividing it by 2. We can also see that if we were to have just the numerators, we have four of them, so that's going to be the same as four times one, or one times four. So the algorithm that we would use to find our full answer is going to have to be four times one, our numerator, divided by two our denominator. So when we multiply fractions by whole numbers, this is going to be the algorithm that we use. So let's look back at this question that we worked on in the last lesson. A cookie recipe calls for three quarters cups of sugar. How much sugar should I use if I want to make five batches? So if I were to represent this as a multiplication equation, I would get five batches times three quarters of a cup per batch. Using our skills from yesterday, we can just look at this as repeated addition. So that'll be three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths. Of course, if we're working with bigger numbers or bigger whole numbers after a while, it's going to be kind of inconvenient to add and do use repeated addition. So let's use an algorithm instead. What we'll see is that if we use the old way, we would add our numerators together. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to be 15. And then we divide that by our denominator of 4. So that becomes 15 divided by 4, if we were to simplify this. 4 goes into 15 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 15 is going to be 3. So our mixed number for this is going to be 3 and 3 fourths. What we basically did is took our whole number, multiplied it by our numerator, and then divided that product by our denominator. So that's going to be the algorithm that we use again. That would be 5 times 3 divided by 4. 5 times 3 is 15. And that divided by 4 would first give us the mixed uh, improper fraction, 15 fourths, which we then simplified into 3 and 3 fourths.
Now it's your turn. We have this problem that says Patty wants to run 5 6 of a mile every day for 5 days. How many total miles will she run in that time? At this point in time, feel free to pause the video, solve this problem, and restart the video when you're ready to check your work. All right, let's solve this. We know that Patty wants to run 5 sixths of a mile every day for 5 days. So if I were to set this up as a multiplication equation, that would be 5 sixths times 5. What I want to do is multiply my whole number by my fraction. So that would give me 5 times 5. And then take the product of that and divide it by 6. Okay. What we'll see is 5 times 5 is going to equal 25 divided by 6, which is represented by the fraction 25 6. Since this is an improper fraction, let's use long division to solve. So we have 25 inside divided by 6. 6 goes into 25 four times because I know that 6 times 4 is going to be 24. 25 minus 24 is going to give me just 1. So I have a remainder of 1. So my mixed number is going to be 4 and 1 6. So in five days, Patty is going to run four and one-sixth miles. So what's the algorithm? What is the order of steps that I need to take to multiply a fraction by a whole number? Let's say I have a fraction represented by A over B, where A is going to be the numerator and B is going to be the denominator. I'm going to multiply that by a whole number, q. What I'll get, if I were to multiply a times q first, is a times q, and then divide that number by b. We can also represent this as a fraction as a times q, or aq, over b. So again, if we were to multiply any fraction by a whole number, the algorithm that we would use is a times q divided by b, or our numerator times our whole number, and that product divided by our denominator, or represented as a fraction, aq divided by b, or aq over b. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply fractions by whole numbers using an algorithm.